Omaha, May, March 25, Wendell Carter Jr. Photo by Jamie Squire, Getty Images While there are thousands of mock drafts to read and hundreds of experts weighing in, the truth is that the Memphis Grizzlies front office has done a pretty good job not sharing what they are doing this year. Hopefully it is because they love some player and they do not want someone to find out and trade up ahead of them to take him. This mock draft will be based on what I have seen from watching hours and hours of film as well assessing team's needs. I have no inside sources, nor will I falsely claim I do. This is my best mock-up of what I believe will happen tonight in one of the more unpredictable NBA drafts in recent memory. The only thing anyone seems to be sure about when this is the one pick that has remained a constant in all of my mock drafts, as well as most of the national mocks. DeAndre Ayton is the surefire number one pick in this draft and it would have to be an absolute curveball from Phoenix if it was anyone else. I am not sure why talk of Luka Donik being reunited with his Slovenia national team coach in Phoenix has quieted, but it has. So unless the Suns throw a massive curveball, the one pick anyone has been sure about, remains Aiton at no. 1. The picks that decide the entire draft 2. 3 players have been linked to the Kings here at 2. Donick, Marvin, Bagley 3 and Michael Porter Jr. Vladi Divac will go with Bagley because he just makes sense. The Kings need front court talent, period. Dave Doger has been known to desire a faster paced offensive system. He is off to a good start with point guard Aaron Fox. Not really sure why they brought in a slow it down and bang player in Zach Randolph and a 40-year-old Vince Carter, though. King's front court consists of Randolph, Costa Kufos, Skal Labizier, Willie Colley-Stein, and Harry Giles. Nothing that gets anyone excited. Enter Marvin Bagley. He immediately adds scoring and talent to this front court. Donick may currently be the better player, but the Kings just need Bagley.3 Luka Doncic point forwards love and I in all honesty, I do not believe at all that Luka Donick will end the night a hawk. I expect to see our first team trade up in the draft right here with this pick. Whether it is Dallas, Orlando, or a surprise team moving up, Donick will be going top 3 tonight. Anything can happen for Wendell Carter Jr. FC Duke If you have not heard yet, Wendell Carter Jr. is the only lottery projected player to work out for the Memphis Grizzlies. Possibly a money play on his part, shoot your shot young man. Carr Jr. has one of the highest floors in the draft, making this pick a very very safe pick at 4. His ceiling is certainly not one of the highest, but rumor is that his Duke teammates all said they would take him over Marvin Bagley. Me it is a blessing in disguise. In all reality, this is the nightmare scenario for the Grizzlies. Not having their choice of Bagley or Donick. They could just as easily trade back, trying to dump Chandler Parsons, or they could take a huge risk with Michael Porter Jr. I just believe Chris Wallace loves Carter Jr. and his solid offensive game enough to take him here at 4 if they cannot trade back. A projected promise 5 if Donick goes second to Sacramento's, I could see Dallas trading with Atlanta to get Bamba. Just because Bamba does not want to go to Memphis does not mean Memphis would not take him if he is the best player on the board. Bamba is a freak athlete with even freakier measurements. He is a high ceiling low floor player which is why he is not a lock in the top 3, a couple of draft slides 6 Jaron Jackson Jr. PF Michigan State opportunity to take a guy like Jaron Jackson Jr. Here might determine what the Magic do with Aaron Gordon. Trying to make Gordon into a stretch four was a disaster. Jackson can be that player and a better defender. Gordon is certainly the better athlete, but Jackson might actually be the better basketball player. Point seven Michael Porter Jr. Amazora Michael Porter Jr. falling to seven is the dream scenario for the Bulls. MPJ loves Chicago and Chicago loves him. Pick 7 is about the range where taking Porter is worth the risk of his injury. Chicago is not a threat to make a playoffs appearance next season, so if Porter does redshirt, it won't matter. 
a LeBron guy, 8 miles bridge Michigan State This is the absolute highest bridges could go in this draft. No matter what Dan Gilbert may say or think, the best chance to win another championship is to have LeBron James remain in Cleveland. Miles Bridges is the best case prospect for Cleveland. He is a guy that can be a future piece regardless if James stays or not, but he is also a guy that LeBron himself likes. Smart Money says take Bridges here, Dan. More sliders 9 The second dream scenario of the NBA draft. Atlanta could trade back to 7 or 8 and take Trey Young before the Knicks get there. This is a marriage that the NBA wants and needs to happen. The basketball mecca needs another star to play next to Porzingis, and Young could just be that guy. Point one zero. Michael Bridges' ceiling in this draft is at pick 7. His ceiling as a player is not very high, but his floor is. He is one of, if not the most NBA-ready player in this draft. Bridges would fit in perfectly next to Robert Covington and Ben Simmons as a 3 and D player. He may never become a star, but he will be a solid starter for years in the league. Page 2 Use your ROS to browse Bois ID, March 17, Kevin Knox. Photo by Kevin C. Cox, Getty Images, 11 The rebuild may be underway as the Hornets shipped out Dwight Howard yesterday to take on terrible money in Timothy Mozgov. They could opt to take Colin Sexton here as a Kemba trade seems inevitable, but Knox is a popular riser among experts as draft night approaches. Point one two Robert Williams PF, C Texas A. He just makes sense as the DeAndre Jordan replacement. Jordan is most likely headed out the door this offseason with no Blake Griffin or Chris Paul or Doc Rivers holding him hostage. Point one three Robert Williams goes at 12 because the Clippers know they want him. There may be potential for someone to trade up here at 13 to take Sexton, such as Atlanta trading 19 and 30 to get their future point guard. If not a trade for Sexton, he is a good fit for the Clippers as well. Point one four Will Barton declined a contract extension, leaving a void for a scoring guard off the bench behind Gary Harris. Lonnie Walker could be a Donovan Mitchell type steal at the end of the lottery for Denver. They can get the same kind of production for cheaper by taking a potential 20-point-per-game scorer. Use your ROS to browse.